they care about you? Do they care about your children? Do they care about your future? Heck no. They did. They would have did something 10, 15 years ago. The drought in California is over 10, 15 years old. They have one or two good years that don't fix nothing. You know, you can tell by the rings on the trees, the old trees, what type of year it was. In California, they got them trees that they cut down. Them redwoods, you know how old they are? They said Jesus was walking the earth when some of them redwoods was there. Two thousand years old. You know what that fool Ronald Reagan said? Well, you've seen one redwood, you've seen them all. That man is a fathead. And he went crazy, too. He was already crazy, but he went crazy. That's what his wife, Nancy Reagan, said. Ronnie's out there, and we can't reach him. That mean that boy, done, he, he tripping, he long gone. <laughs> anyway, let me get back to, you would imagine I'd you finally get back to you and I and, and our options. Uh, these people don't care anything about us, and they don't care about themselves even. And they don't have any guidance and monitors to control themselves, right? So they're caught in the headlights of history. The world is the same state. Uh, we got two choices. We got to get ourselves together and have a utopia or leave things go and we'll have dystopia. And then you ask yourself about inertia. Inertia is when a thing is going in a certain direction, right? Like if you put on the brakes in a car, you keep moving, right, ahead. All right. If the society, if global warming, if climate, if melting all the ice caps in the world are happening, no matter what you do to fix it, it's going to keep going for a while in the direction that it was going in. Isn't that right? That's just a natural law. Okay. So I want you to remember what you've always read in Quran. If you read in the Bible, it was the same thing. In those days, they sent prophets and messengers to talk to the people. And they talked to the people in the same language that we're using. Because we're using the language that they were all using. But ain't no more prophets and messengers coming. So that leaves the job. You find the world in the same situation as it was in those days, people act in the same way. That mean all of them acquired some level of destruction. What do you think that the world, how long is such a simple question? It's rhetorical. Why? How long do you think we can do this? Right? How long do you think that we can do this? And who's going to suffer? Who's going to suffer? Well, the last one to go down will be boss man because he'll find an island with a mountain top and there's less pollution there. We got good signs. Oceanographers and what have you are building new Some of the things that we've talked about before, they're building those things to go out on the ocean and clean it up right now. There's whole teams of them. You don't hear about them unless you really look for them because they're not on the news. But there are people out on the ocean now trying and testing, and they have the 70 or 80 most polluting rivers and then the other rivers don't pollute as much. They got it all. And uh, all the plastic 
all the junk, all this, that, and other, it goes in the ocean. It goes in the ocean. The ocean regulates the temperature and everything in the world. It just, I mean, you know. Suppose humanity has turned the oceans into a sewer. Well, just think about it. What runs into the ocean? How long has it been happening? All of the big rivers run into the doggone ocean. And they're all taking tons and tons of sewage into the ocean. So the thing that used to clean and pair, uh, you know sand, if you have a river running in the sand, uh, every quarter mile uh, is just what we knew from in the country and stuff. Every quarter mile, the river, I mean, the stream will purify itself. Every quarter mile because of the sand and all that in there. That's why all the water, if it's left alone in nature, would be clean and purified. When we went camping and hiking and up in the mountains of California, you could look 100 miles away and see those snow-capped mountains, and then that water running down through them streams where we used to go uh, on the weekends and play beaver swings and all of that. We drank that water. There was no pollution coming into it. Beautiful trout fishing in there, and we drank that water. All of us drank it because all the water you could drink in those days, I'm not talking about 60 it's a little more than that on. Okay, 65 years ago, I'm talking about. Okay. Those rivers uh, and streams, the snow cap runoff, and it was cold. Boy, you could put your sodas in there and they just get cold just in the whirling water. The water was clean and fresh. It's not like that anymore. There's something that the river cleans itself or the stream every quarter mile. Every quarter mile there's another pollutant on pollutant on pollutant. And when that water gets to the ocean, when they pump it into those fields in California, they're pumping polluted water into the fields. And we're eating vegetables from California with all that pollution in it. Just, just the way it is. I mean, it ain't no big deal. I mean, you know, maybe, yeah. All right. So everything, the whole cycle of the earth is being turned upside down. The trees that clean up the air and everything carbon dioxide and oxygen, you know, you breathe in oxygen, breathe out carbon dioxide. The trees breathe in carbon dioxide, breathe out oxygen. That's why Brazil was known, Mato Grosso, that big area, was known as the lungs of the world. In this ball scenario, that crack pot that liked to, you just let them burn it all up. Okay, here's the point that we're heading. Earth is headed downhill fast, and we're letting it do it. Da -da -da -da. The day is saved. Who's going to save the day? You know, I used to. <laughs> don't laugh now, I'm telling you. I don't want nobody to just run around giggling and laughing. You know who Captain America is now? You see it? The black guy. Yeah, the guy that was flying around. He, well, and the, the old black guy that was old, and he got him put in the museum down there. It's all right, I'm telling you. When I would explain this to uh, 
like Sakina when she was, this goes back 20, when she was five and six years old, she loved the Power Rangers. And since we lived downstairs over there, if she watched TV, okay, I had to watch it with her. I mean, I couldn't tell her, you can't watch no Power Rangers. Cause da, 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 da. I said, yeah. So I would watch, power. I would actually, I may be studying and reading, but I would be watching because we lived downstairs over there. So the TV was in the living room, right? Which just a little room. But anyway, I got up on what they teaching the kids. So I used to tell uh, Sakina, we're like the Muslim Rangers. And just think of every power, every Power Ranger episode. The big monster about it got everybody about finished, right? Tell the truth. And then the Power Rangers got to morph up, right? To where he can tussle with whatever monster it is that's devouring or ruining things, right? That's what we are now. But it's real, it's the real deal. Brothers, I don't see no hope in boss man getting the truth and getting saved by the Holy Ghost. <clears throat> if anybody see any signs of that, please let me know. Just drop a little note in the box somewhere, the suggestion box. Boss man got the message. Yeah, if you if you if he acts like he hears us. Even we have went this whole ten year period of study, research, and placement. But our placement right now even if we're in an ideal where we want to be. If we don't get this message out within a year or two, big time, if they don't recognize us or somebody like us, and I think that there's people in the system, and I've thought this for decades, because I told Abdul Malik this over 20 years ago, I said, there's, in the back of all of this is boss man. I said, boss man, got, they got one team that want to get rid of us and finish the nigger off. And then there's another team said, just hold on a while. And then, this is the way I thought about it then. And I, I almost, I know it now. I'm not, I've thought about this for 30 years. I have known that there's been two teams they technically on the same team. One team, get rid of that nigger. He ain't going to do no good, and they niggers can't do any good. Then there's another humanistic crew. They, I don't know what the numbers are. Oh, we're we going to get more out of them. We keep them alive. Just study uh, the nigger. The nigger is right about this. Look what the nigger. We can learn. We can and they are learning, but they don't do nothing about it. The way I look at the world now, remember, this is guys is better living. This is not a, a, a they're just talking. We don't know the damn numbers anymore about how long we got. Scriptural time, it's not looking too good. Earth time, air, water, everybody's running out of water. Fresh water, right? India, running out of fresh water. Russia, Russia, eight time zones or more. Trees up in the air. Got most of the resources of the world hidden in Russia. And Siberia, you know, they used to send niggas, not niggas, but uh, Muslims to Siberia. That was the worst thing. Siberia gets so cold, you can't, you're just there 
froze to death. You're going to freeze. I don't care. You can Eskimo it. You can, but you're not going to cause no trouble in Siberia because you're too cold. So they used to send the Muslims from one part of Russia to Siberia. That's where they get that time. They're going to be sent to Siberia. They meant the Muslims. Siberia is somewhere like 80 or 90. <laughs> Good God Almighty. There ain't nobody having no fit or nothing like that. This is scriptural time we're living in. Right? Tell the truth. When you read Quran, when you read Hadith about the end of days, what does this period sound like? Sound like all the things that the prophets and messengers went to tell. The people is now acting like all them crackpots was acting in those days, right? And the prophets and messengers came in those days.